Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the new Fido C21 Pro. Now Fido have kindly sent me this bike to review and I'm really grateful for that. So far I've ridden 15 miles on it today and it's um it's an absolutely cracking bike. There's not really an awful lot to dislike about it in all honesty. It's um the C21 Pro is a lightweight e-bike. It's aimed at leisure and commuter market. It weighs 17.5 kilograms, uses a 250 watt gid hub motor with a 208 watt hour internal battery. Um, it's got nine speed derailleur system, L2, which works really well. And as you can see, it's, it's a really nice looking bike. I'm thoroughly impressed with it. Anyway, guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump on it and take it for a quick ride. We're going to go and do a little bit of a walk around as well. I'm going to show you some of the components up close. And I'm going to take it up to um, up to the edge of Dartmoor. I'm going to take it off-road for a little bit. It is actually marketed. Uh, they do market it as a gravel bike as well. So we're going to see how it handles a bit of gravel. And, um, yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Right, we'll start off at the business end. The motor. Right, the motor is a Mevoice. 250 watt geared hub motor it's incredibly quiet it's probably the quietest e-bike motor I've ever come across actually and it's incredibly smooth and responsive now it's activated through a torque sensing bottom bracket this one is incredibly reactive to pedaling input so if you're pedaling lightly it's not really giving you much in the way of assist the minute you start to put a little bit of force through the pedal, it really, really does adjust to your riding style. I'm really impressed with that so far. Right, the gearing is it's L2. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with L2, they are a Chinese manufacturer of bike components. And to my knowledge, they were actually started up by a couple of guys who used to work for SRAM. And their components are actually really, really good. Uh, the shifting on this bike is excellent, it indexes perfectly, the trigger shifter has got a nice feel to it, it's got nice positive action. I wouldn't say it's the lightest action shifter I've come across, but it's it certainly works very well, I've got no complaints in that department. Right, we'll move on to the brakes. Now again, this bike has got Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. It's really nice to see. There we go. Now, just below my bottle cage here, that's your one-off button, right there. And there is your battery charging port. And I've fitted my old clip pedals to this because I'm going for quite a long ride today. That's your rear hydraulic brake. Got a kickstand. Now we'll move on to the battery. The battery's inside here and it's a 208 watt hour so it's quite a low capacity battery which um, isn't a bad thing. Fido are actually going to be doing a range extender which will fit there. It's like a, a bottle battery. But 208 watt hours, I've done 15 miles today so far. I have kept it in the lowest level of assist for most of the ride and I've just lost one bar off the indicator. I actually lost one bar after 10 miles, which I think is pretty good going. Now this display is really nice. We've got, um, that's your trip computer. It's a really, really clear high resolution display actually. Obviously these buttons here increase your assist level. Yeah, it's a lovely display. It really is nice. We've also got controls here. Now this bike does come with a light, which I haven't fitted because I'm not going to be riding it at night time at the moment, but I will fit the light at some stage and uh, see how it performs. There's only one thing I don't like about it, and it's a minor niggle, and it's a personal preference, is this front chain ring is way too big. It's either a 46 tooth or maybe even a 50 tooth. We've got 11 to 32 cassette at the back, 
so it's quite high geared. I'd be inclined, if I was going to keep this bike, which I, I might keep hold of this bike for a while, I'd be inclined to fit maybe a 40 tooth on the front, which is much better gearing for, for hilly terrain. Be easy enough to get one of these to, to get a chain ring off, um, off Amazon or eBay. They're fairly easy to change. I think it's a fairly standard. Look, looking at it, it's probably possibly a 130 BCD um, chain ring. So we've got mounts for a rack, if you want to fit one. And the Fido C21 Pro does come with mud guards and stays. So I haven't fitted them today. I just wanted to kind of get the bike assembled and get on it and ride it. The tyres are CST tie rent. It's a gravel tyre. 700 by 40 c they roll really well on tarmac i haven't actually had a chance to take it off road yet but i will be doing that in a minute oh, one more thing saddle's really comfortable but there you go folks i'm really impressed with this bike so far now it currently retails for it's on fido's website for 1599 dollars which equates to around about 1300 pounds in sterling but yeah i think it's a really nice stylish bike Anyway, I'm going to jump on this bike now, take it for a little spin. Hope you enjoy the footage. Right, we're just going to do a short hill climb test to see how it performs. Now, I've currently got it set on level one. We're going to put it up to level three. Actually, level two seems to be quite good. As you can see, we've got um, 121 feet of ascent over 0.3 of a mile. So it's a short climb. As you can see from the elevation profile, it's quite steep in places. So anyway, let's go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that pedal assist is so responsive. It really does. As soon as you sort of, as soon as you put, stand on the pedals, as soon as you stamp on the pedals, it's off. Right. Yeah, level two is plenty of assist. Still showing four bars out of five. Currently about 17 miles into this ride. So that's really promising for the uh, for the range. Obviously, if you um, if you uh, use it in the highest level of assist, you're going to get through the battery a lot quicker. But if you're just looking for an e-bike to give you a little bit of help on the hills, I think it's a really, really good option. Yeah, we're currently at 10%. Yeah. Still in level two. That's really impressive, actually. I'm still having to work a little bit, but... a little bit it's a lot easier That's that short hill climb test done on the C21 Pro. And I'll be honest with you, it made short work of that. I did have to work a little bit, but I was well within my comfort zone. And I've just lost another bar off the battery. So we're down to three bars now, 17 miles in. Got about 15 miles to go. So I'm gonna find a little, little off-road section and we're gonna take it up there and see how it goes. Right, the C21 Pro is marketed as a gravel e-bike. So I thought I would see how it performs on gravel. It's certainly um, got the right credentials. Let's see how it performs. I'm not going to go crazy. I've only just got this bike, I don't want to wreck it.
so hopefully the track leads you pretty well. But I don't know, I've got the tide up a little bit too hard. So we're riding off though. One thing I will say though is the the railer used hasn't got a clutch. So it's kind of slapping around all over the place when I go over bumps. Which is a deal breaker. I mean if you were going to use this bike, you know, if, if you're planning on using the Fido C21 Pro as a, as a kind of sort of gravel bike, it would be quite easy to fit something like a Shimano Dior M5100 derailleur, and not very expensive. It'd be quite easy to convert it to 10 speed. Load of gearing on the front, put a bigger to set on the back. Right guys, that's the uh, short gravel ride done. So is the Fido C21 Pro suitable for gravel riding? Um, it needs work, I would say, in that, in that department. I have got the tides inflated too high for riding off-road. Currently it's got 40C tires fitted, 40 mil tires. I'd say you'd probably want to get if you could squeeze maybe 45s in there, run at a lower pressure. The other issue I come across was the derailleur was slapping around all over the place. So you'd want to fit a clutch derailleur. Now L2 do actually sell a clutch derailleur, it's quite cheap. I think you can get it off AliExpress. Or you could fit something like a Shimano Dior M5100 with a 10 speed setup. But yeah, if, if you're serious about riding this off road and you're going to be riding it on, on the kind of terrain I've been riding it today, I would say you definitely want to clutch the railia, um, and you'd want to fit maybe slightly wider tyres and definitely have them run at a lower pressure. But it was fine, you know, if, if, if you're just sort of leisure riding, um, forest trails, woodland, canal paths, things like that, it's, it's perfect. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up now. I've got about... I've got about 15 miles to go before I get back home. It's dropped down to two bars now. I was on I was on sort of three a minute ago, and now it's dropped down to two. So I'm going to take a bimble on back home to Cornwall. And what I'll do is I'll put the I'll put the final mileage up, and I'll put up a screenshot of how much battery I used, and also a screenshot of the route. Okay. I hope you found this video useful, guys. I am going to be keeping hold of this bike for a while, and I'll be doing a I'll be doing a couple more videos. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, guys.